Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today, finally, uh, after I think today's Predator Battles, I was finally able to max out the skill for the new free-to-play protector Kigali. Our first ever unit of this character, whether or not it's her or, you know, more plot stuff. But, um, you know, she's the free-to-play protector. She's meant to, you know, be a stepping stone for newer players to have and have access to at least some kind of additional damage buff. Uh, she's giving Exalted Champions and Schemer allies 20% elemental attack for one turn. Just like Velzard, but, you know, it's not everybody. It's just these two, and it's not 50%, and there's no Drago effect. Uh, she also does change blue orbs to green, so any blue orb will get changed to green, so that's nice. And then she does give you 20 skill points every time you use her. So, I mean, I have seen much worse free-to-play protectors, by all means. Uh, she's not, you know, the greatest thing since sliced bread. But, again, stepping stone, entry-level, basic protector, gets you an idea of how a team runs, and meant to be used for early game content, so conquest and, you know, crucibles and stuff like that. So we're gonna, you know, show her off on more of a entry-level team as much as I can. Um, her trait, when someone's affected by attack down, increases magic attack. Uh, I mean, cool. There are a few stages that lower your attack in the early game, so it, it can be useful. But, I mean, let's check out the Schemer for, since Exalted Champions is what we've been using this entire time. Schemer is not a team that has, uh, that has, oh man, what, what do I call it? A, a great roster. Yeah, okay, so we've got the new Blanc, which is weird. We've got a, the Violets. We've got Mirren, Kazuma, if you happen to still, you know, be playing since the Konosuba collab. Free to play Misery, Isis, and then Bitch Ass Claimant. So, I mean, having Blanc and Violet here is pretty good for a physical team. Um, but not a green team. And that's what this Kigali wants to run as a green team. And only Isis and technically Mirren really run well on a green team. You could put old Fire Violet there, sure. But, I mean, that's not a great roster. It's got one, two, three, four, five EX characters, but eh, not really built for that kind of uh, setup. So let's let's try it out. All right, we're gonna go into EX Cabby or not EX, but Master Conquest Cabby using Kigali, and you know we're gonna put Milam and Guy on here. You know, supposing that you did at least pull them, but you didn't manage to get the more expensive to pity uh, Velzard. I did take the weapons off of Milam and Guy, so their attack stats are heavily nerfed. They still have their defense and HP gear, I think. Yes, I mean, so that's pretty good still, but I mean, Misery has no gear on. So, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't say that this is going to match what a new player is going to have stat-wise, but, you know, we can we can make it a, a more reasonable scenario than putting all of my maxed Awakened gear on her with enchantments and all that crap. And then we've got free-to-play Isis and Sufia, and then old, old Wind Lumi just for orb changing, because, you know, we want to run a green team, so we're going to, we're going to do it. Technically, we don't need Isis, because Kigali is changing orbs, uh, changing blue orbs to greens, but I do want her for the green buff uh, more than anything. You could very easily swap Misery in here, because she also has a green buff, and she has a heal. So, I mean, that's always an option as well. But Kigali being able to raise your elemental attack means that you don't need some kind of other elemental buffer. So, I mean, you don't need... What, like Light Leon or something like that? Well, he's not exalted like champions or schemers, so you don't really need that second anniversary Hinata, right? Who's gonna give that 50% buff to everybody? It's it's more reasonable, it's just that, you know, it's only exalted champions or schemers, so if you don't have any of those characters, you really don't get anything more than just orb changing and skill points. So, things could be worse. Also, what are these hands of absolute garbage? Okay, maybe we should have put a blue team on here. Okay, and he's also countering every single turn. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. Okay, so defense is up. Cool, whatever. Um, eh, sure, we can we can do this. We can just kind of get started on some orbs. So Isis, boom. Sufia, boom. 
And then next turn, you know, these are all nerfed green, so maybe not the best stage to take her in either. If I had enough points for that green buff, it'd be a lot better. But we'll be looking okay for now. But going back, I mean, Kigali being limited heavily to those two forces, and if you were very unlucky and you just didn't pull um, Milim or Guy, then you really don't have a lot of options for Exalted Champion. Assuming you started now, that means you probably don't have any of the other units that are on Exalted Champion. Uh, like Dark Milim, other Dark Milim, you know, First Anniversary, Rimuru, like these kinds of characters are just not available to you right now. So I really, like, I understand the whole theme of having the free-to-play protectors be leaders for their team because they assume you're going to summon on the banners that are up. But at the same time, I mean, it you can very easily just not pull anything and get completely and utterly shafted, and it makes your life a living hell. Okay, so here, you know, Kigali, change all blues into greens and give me 20 skill points. So I'm at 97 right now. Um, let's do the alt rush ability, just to give us the guy and Milim alt. We have 57 points, we have a whole bunch of blues, so now using Kigali, who doesn't have a, you know, an animation because she's a 4 star, boom, they're all greens now, I got 20 points back, and, I mean, we're looking good. The green buff from Isis is still technically active, so we're canceling out the, the gauge debuff, so these are essentially just attack nerfed greens now. So we have enough to get two EX alts right here which we'll be able to easily kill once we use the Synergy and Milim buff. But, I mean, even if you don't have them and you're not really benefiting from the element buff that, you know, we see right here, it's still kind of useful to do um, just the complete orb changing and the 20 skill points. Like, you can take that on any other team. It's just now you're really not benefiting off of the element, which is kind of the whole damn point. But... I mean, if it's what you got, it's what you got. And if you don't have a better option protector, then you might as well use what the game has given you for free. So, um, yeah, she can work with, you know, with the brand new Milim and the brand new guy. Uh, let's put her into con or let's put her in a Crucible now, another like low level stage, and let's not have any Exalted Champion characters. Okay, so. Isis is still technically on Schemer. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we've, we've swapped Milim and Guy for Bride Shion and Groom Rimuru. We're going to go into Crucible 100, the highest stage, against Rimuru, who is dark, so that's why we're bringing light characters. 241k uh, HP will be quite a bit for newer players, uh, but this is a green-focused team. You know, the Brides, when they originally came out, were a burst green underneath um, Bride Sh uh, Shizu. So, while we're not going to get the element buff or the pierce rate, we'll still get the conversion, we'll still get the 20 points, and maybe with this team we can still attempt to take down Rimuru. If not, then, you know, we'll have to rearrange the team a bit. But I do want to at least try it out here. Again, I didn't even check the gear on them. I don't think they're geared up very well, if any. But my Shion is level 120, so... I used to use her a lot for Tower of Isis when I was going through and clearing it. Um, hmm. Okay, let's just use the Isis Orb change right here, and we'll just kind of get this out of the way. Uh, Groom Reamer is going to give us Protection Gauge for the first couple of turns. Shion's going to give herself extra Alt Gauge for the first couple of turns. And, okay, that means nothing when we have no green orbs. Awesome. Okay, well... We're going to need to do something about that. Oh, blues are nerfed and right into the ground. Okay. Uh, we just gotta get him out of here. Please don't give me any more blues, even though I know that one's coming. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. Someone's trying to call me. Uh, oh man. Yeah, look at all these green orbs that we're just not getting here. Okay. <laughs> uh, okie ok okay dokie. Um, let's get, let's get the green buff on. Boom. 47 points, huh? Alright, Isis comes out. Sufia comes in. That changes that one. We have 22, which is not enough to use Lumi, so we'll just use, I guess, Rimuru's to get that last orange change, and we'll just send these. This will get us Kigali, which means that these blues next turn will be turned into green orbs. And we're doing decent damage here. Okay. Um, okay, well... 
We got points back, so we can just do this again. Boom. All right. And then we can use Kigali. Now, no one up front is Exalted Champion or Schemer, so they did not get the element buff, but we still did manage to change those two orange orbs to green, and we got 20 points back, so we can do this, and we can do this buff now. Boom. And boom. You know, we're not getting the pierce power, but we are certainly still getting the attack buff. So it'll help us hit, you know, a little bit harder. And it makes greens give us uh, more alt gauge, which will help out because we're now we're going to get Rimuru's alt. Um, let's see, 13.7. Alright, it's not great. And Shion, 30k. Alright, Rimuru's ulting. Hmm. Okay, I mean, he does have 200 something health right? Alright, so here's another good usage, right? So we got let's use Shion's orb change here let's actually get Rimuru out for Lumi? Yeah, because he's a little hurt, and then we still have access to Kigali, because the greens are still buffed by the Isis skill and let's give ourselves another full hand of green, and then let's give us, you know, 120 skill points, so now we can heal we can charm a little bit enamor, whatever you want to call it, I call it charm still uh, and now we can guarantee that we're going to get another Shion ult next turn, alongside having a Sufi ult, plus having the ult for Rimuru in the back. It's just that now we don't have another Kigali, which, again, doesn't matter because no one's getting a damage buff right here. Unfortunate, though, because we have, you know, two... We can, uh, we can just use Isis for this. Yeah, ow, ow, ow. There's the charm, there's the ult for Shion, perfect. And then Isis comes in for Lumi... We'll use her two skills again. Yeah, just to make sure we can keep cycling. And then we'll bring Rimuru in for her. And we got a full hand. And, I mean, this should do decent damage. And it'll get us another Kigali next turn, plus a decent amount of points. Which, again, is going to be 20 points higher, because next turn when we use Kigali, it'll be pretty good. That's not great. Uh, Rimuru, you're also not going to look very good. Now well, 19 is okay. Uh, Shion, 22. She's, she doesn't have that 30% attack buff anymore. Alright, cheeky counter. It is what it is. Alright, we are slowly taking him down. You know, I wanted an underpowered team, and we certainly brought one. Alright, well, that's an absolutely god-awful hand. Alright, thank you. But, we can still orb change. Boom. We can still do it. Uh, Actually, let's, let's, get, let's get you out of here. Let's get a full hand. I don't really care about that ult, because it's an AoE, and she, you know, we saw that we should 5,000 damage. Ooh, wonderful. Let's go ahead and heal again, because now we have enough points, because we use Kigali, to give us 20. So we're constantly being, or benefiting from using Kigali, even without the element buff, because she is giving us those extra points, which is allowing us to use more skills than what we would normally be able to. So that's very useful right there. And... Okay, I, th I think we're good here now. We can take... Uh, we can probably take Xion out, and we'll just send this, and we can probably, probably kill. So, one more orb change from Sufia, another Kigali, change that blue, 20 points, 35, uh, yeah, not really worth it, okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and send this, and let's call it a day. So, there we go. Alright, I think that was actually a very good um, showcase of using Kigali on a team that, you know, doesn't have any particular units that benefit her, but also still benefiting from using her as a basic protector, because she can still put in work. You do have to build a team that would revolve around, you know, green orbs and everything, first and foremost, but, I mean... For early game content, it's definitely not bad. And obviously, if you have access to Rimuru, or not Rimuru, well, you know, any of them, the hero, Rimuru, Guy, Milam, it'll make your life a, a lot easier. Hopefully, you've listened to my advice and didn't actually summon for these two, and you've only summoned on this, and maybe you already have Belzar, and you don't have this problem. But if you do have that problem, uh, then she can fill in for now, until you pull better protectors down the line. Alright, to end it off, I, I do want to see her lead the entire Exalted Champions team in EX2 beatdown battle, just to see if we can actually do it. I'm fairly certain we can, just from the raw power of buffs that Milam is going to have from Guy and Rimuru. But I do want to see it just happen, that way we could say that we put it in the video. Um, but, I mean, this won't take 
too long. It should run the same way as every other beatdown battle has. So I guess we'll just start the outro. So, Kigali. Not a terrible free-to-play protector. Obviously not the best, but as most free-to-play protectors are, they're not built for end game like hardcore content of you clearing 100% of the game. She's meant to be here as a small little side piece that you can use eventually to build up your box to, you know, clear some of these stages and then move on with your day and, you know, never think about her again as all of the other free to play protectors have ever been. I mean, there are a few that can really 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 good. Uh okay, so here uh, perfect. Uh, look at all these blues that are now converted to greens. And now everybody gets an element buff because everyone is on Exalted Champions now. Uh, we probably should have used um, um, some skills before so we didn't waste those 20 points. It is what it is. Uh, let's bring Veldora in for Rimuru. We'll use his green buff. That way we can continue cycling. And we'll be pretty good now. We're going to leave Hero in the back just in case I get some really bad turns and I just need to steal or something out of this. But, I mean, we are doing more damage here, and, you know, EX2 is not is the last place you get a dupe for uh, Veldora. So it is nice that we would have it available. Um, let's see. Let's use the Synergy buff now. Boom. Let's get... Uh, let's get Rimuru in here for guy yeah and then let's use the alt swap ability boom there's three milims and now now we can use the hero and we can yoink all those cool and then we can use kigali to change those two nerf blues to greens give us the element buff and just because i can we're going to use the aoe skill even though it <laughs> there's only one person here to hit uh but then, you know that's an ex alt we've got an ex alt for milim in the back all right, we crit there, which isn't great. And now we're probably ready to nuke. Probably being the keyword. And now we have double Kigali, which means that we actually have 40 points in reserve. So let's go ahead and use the magic resistance down again. Boom. That way we can just do extra damage. We'll get Milim in here for Veldora. And... Uh... Yeah, we'll do the attack buff from Rimuru. Boom. So that's all of our points. And then we can do this. Kigali won't change that orange orb, but she can give us an extra 40, which means that now, I mean, we only once, we only need to use her once, but we can we can now use Milam's personal buff. Boom. And her back-to-back -back alt skill. So, I mean, yeah, I think we're going to kill. Uh, I, I think there's not really any doubt in my mind, but... Having a double stack Kigali means that we could actually use the full buffs from the team. 133k, and Milam comes in and wipes it up. Yeah, a million. So, there we go. That is the Kigali free-to-play protector showcase on a couple of newer... No, not newer, but older events with old units, and then clearing EX2 with the full meta. <laughs> Again, I, the hero and is not necessary here. Rimuru is not necessary. But it's, it's a showcase, right? We gotta show her off. So let me know what you guys think of Protector Kigali, but that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you all later.